Hi guys, welcome back to RS Aquaculture. As you have looked through our previous video, you might actually know how mixing is very important for our bioflock systems. And then we have actually released a video on how to achieve that in your system. In this video, I'll be showing you a new kind of aeration or mixing technology known as the wave maker, and I'll show you how to assemble it. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to our channel, RS Aquaculture actually produces content with regards to shrimp farming and mud crab farming either using RAS systems or bioflock systems and this was the farm that we actually built in 2023. So if you like our content, do like and subscribe so you'll get a weekly notification on our latest video so you'll stay updated on our progress. So coming back to this week's topic, as you might already seen in the previous last few videos, you might actually realize that mixing is very important in a bioflock system because it promotes the proper dispersion of the bioflock and the shrimps are able to consume and actually allow the bioflock to treat the water and change it into additional feed. But the downside is a lot of the aeration systems, although they are very fine, they do not provide enough mixing to the system. A good example of this is actually a diffuse aeration system, which is unlike this paddle wheel, like you can see that it actually shows, it puts up a lot of micro nano bubble system, as you can see over the tank here. While it is great at oxygen transfer, it is not so great for ensuring that you have a good mix in the bioflux system especially when your tanks are very very big so we actually at rs aquaculture we always experiment with new technologies out there to see what we can use to achieve our goal and one of these is actually a aerator called a wave maker so unlike uh, its diffuse aerator or paddle wheel its function is to pull up the water from the bottom of the pond and spray it up and so for this video i'll be showing you how we assemble it and you can see it's actually quite easily assembled so anybody on the field can do it on your own it doesn't require any complication so it comes with a float and also comes with a motor that looks like this and you might realize that the motor is actually quite heavy i think it's about 20 to 25 kilograms and you can see it also comes with a couple of uh, stainless steel screws and washer that you can easily install on your own so nothing not no special tools that you need to install this piece of equipment and i feel that it's actually easier to install than the pedal wheel so you first install the stainless the steel stand that's supposed to hold on to the motor body and between the float so it's actually just a minor standoff made out of stainless steel and you just tighten a couple of bolts and you can see one of them is actually being installed so on this motor there's actually three of them so you install it about every 120 degree angle and after that only you put it on top of the float before you install the screw that's fastening the frame onto the onto the float so this is actually quite an easy installation you can see so right now uh, we are going to tighten the screw that's in between the float and the frame so it's just to secure the motor onto the frame so relatively uh, straightforward no special tools probably need some allen key and some spanner we actually made a mistake uh, we installed the frame first before putting in the motor and realized it a bit, it's a bit too difficult to do that so we actually installed the frame on the motor first before putting it onto the the float so this is the mistake we've done here uh, so we actually had to film this video twice because we actually done it the wrong time the first one so hopefully when you buy it and install on your farm you don't make the same mistake and assuming that if you, you know do it correctly uh, this is how it looks like a couple of note is that you know the wires need to be installed on the way from the top and at the bottom part you actually have an impeller that is actually connected to motor uh, direct through a coupling that looks like this and you just install three screws to secure the impeller uh, impeller material i'm not too sure whether it's stainless steel looks like mild steel to me but i don't think it's hard to fabricate so that's all for this video on how it works and how you assemble it in the next video i'll be actually putting it on the on the ground and testing it on our biofog farm to see and update you guys on how does it actually perform in terms of mixing and also providing aeration to our systems so that's all for video we hope you've enjoyed and do like and subscribe if you like our content and see you back again at rs agriculture